having a baby. You're glowing. I knew it. I knew it in the last video. <laughs> Am I right? Everyone has always said something in every video our whole lifetime about me being pregnant. So you're finally right. <laughs> Whoever said it. We've been together for 12 years now and we've wanted a baby for probably 10 of those years, but it just was never the right time. And we decided that it is the right time. So we tried it thinking it would take a while and it happened immediately. So here we are. Yay. We were ready though. If yeah. like we were hoping yeah. it would happen immediately. Right, but saying that in our unfinished house is a little bit comical. Uh -huh. um, and we understand the humor and all of that. So, but yes, we are very excited. I'm four weeks pregnant today. <laughs> I'm still four weeks pregnant and change. <laughs> That's so crazy. I feel bad, but I'm so happy. I'm six weeks pregnant today. I think the reality of it has set in for the most part. But now there's some moments of apprehension coming in, like, oh, wow, the reality. I'm growing a human in me. And there's going to be a lot of things that are going to change. Six weeks and two days, I think I feel the worst that I've felt yet. Six weeks and four days, I'm on the verge of experiencing quite a lot of guilt. I understand what my body's doing and what my body needs, but we're in the middle of building a house and I can't hardly get out of bed. I had been laying in bed for an entire week, but I really wanted to still be part of building the house. Baron's entire family was here helping. I helped doing what I would normally do, not pregnant, and moving around a bunch. And that ended up being maybe a little bit too much. Two days ago after working on insulation on the house, I laid down for a little while and then went outside to pee. And there's a lot of blood on my toilet paper. This was at six weeks, six days told Baron, went over to Brad and Lindy's house to take a shower and just talk. And I never stopped bleeding. It was like, it was not ever getting in my underwear, but it was bleeding as though I were on my period. I contacted Baron's cousin who is a nurse and has a baby herself. And she said that if I'm not cramping, bleeding can be common, but bleeding can also be a problem. I was surrendering to the fact that it was probably going to be a problem, given that, um, I don't know, you don't ever want to see bleeding when you're pregnant. So we had a pretty sad evening, knowing that this is something that we really want, and also being grateful that it happened so quickly, uh, knowing that we can try again. I never got any cramping, and it's two days later. I'm spotting just a little bit. Lindy said, maybe this is how I carry babies. And I'm like, hey, you chill out. Seven weeks, one day today. I wake up in the middle of the night, just terrible um, stomach cramping from being so hungry. So I woke up last night and ate a couple bites of an apple so that I could go back to sleep. It's like, it's so weird. It's unbelievable. Quite a mental and physical roller coaster. But you know what? In the last seven weeks, I've just felt really content and calm and happy. So, so after I filmed that last video, I went to the bathroom and wiped and um, I had passed some very large brown clots and tissue. And outside of cramping, which I have not had, clotting is the next thing that you really don't like to see. My midwife who I have not even met yet because we're still so early in this process, seven weeks and three days. She replied to my emails telling her about the bleeding and spotting and she thinks it's likely a miscarriage. It's not a hard negative at this point, but I'm pretty heartbroken and I'm still feeling sick, pregnant, so ultrasound on Monday to see if anything is still in there. The midwife reached back out again and wanted me to take a, another pregnancy test just to maybe rule out that I had had a miscarriage and maybe it was a chemical pregnancy. Pretty dry now, but 
immediate, immediate bold line. And um, the roller coaster of emotions continue. Seven weeks, five days. I've been sleeping in this camp. Did I say that? It's just too hot in the A-frame for both of us. Tomorrow we will have an appointment to check the heartbeat. Okay, today is the day of the ultrasound. My midwife and her ultrasound tech are coming and bringing it to our house, which is so cool. I'm honestly expecting the worst, but hoping for the best. If there is no heartbeat, I may have to induce miscarriage and that really scares me. I feel so much for all the women who have gone through miscarriages. Something that's I've learned so hard to talk about because there's so many emotions of guilt and shame that come with it. Not to mention the very traumatic physical experience of a miscarriage. I just have so much respect for all the women who have gone through this and, and all the women who will continue to go through it because miscarriage is so, so common. And I didn't know that because it's not something that is very readily spoken about. We're really, really, really hoping to hear the heartbeat today. And that's actually what feeds the baby at first. So, so what you want to do, Alicia, is just kind of rotate mm -hmm. until you get the full... The length of the spine, right? The Where full length. Find. Here's the little munchkin with the head up here. You see the heart right there, just beating, beating, right? Very strong. It's like a little light flickering. Very good. And that looks completely normal. And that is exactly February the 20th. Is the wow. date it's given. Seven weeks and six days. That's Perfect. It? That's yeah. spot Baby on. Matches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it matches. Yeah. Round rump. So it's, you know, curled up baby from the top of the head to the butt. Because the legs and the arms. Little baby right there. This little bump right there, that's going to be a little leg. It's like a, we call them leg butts, you know, and, and, and sometimes we see the little arm butts. So that's going to be a little tiny leg. <laughs> so. <laughs> We still don't know the reason behind the bleeding. It could have been a basic small subchorionic hemorrhage. It could be from my friable cervix that I've had for a number of years. I feel like it was just like a built up bit of blood that hadn't been able to move since you weren't moving. Right. And then it just passed as soon as like you got your body up and rocking. Right. They said that there was nothing abnormal. There was no residual bleeding around the sac, so everything looked perfect. And that's all that we could really ask for. I'm nine weeks today as you're watching this, and most people don't share till they're in their second trimester, which is 12 or 13 weeks. We would have actually shared a little earlier had it not been for this kind of, this bleed scare. Yeah, because we wanted to get that kind of figured out before we knew how to share it. But that's why we have not been on YouTube. I've not been able to really get out of bed and have had no desire to do the things that normally interest me. So Baron's been kicking ass, taking names, and doing a whole bunch of upgrades, not only on the house, finishing the insulation, but uh, the A-frame is like a whole new space. With a fridge, we have a giant new water tank, a screen door, we have a cushion. Uh, that will all be coming up in the next video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.